Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, yeah, this looks like uh, Marvel might have dodged a bullet here. The Blade movie, the Blade reboot that nobody wanted. Uh, the word on the street was it was going to be a female empowerment film. Well, it was like, yeah, it was about like, he would be the fourth lead and it was about, you know, women that would be the main leads and, and, and stuff like that. And Like Buffy? It, it was going to be a project led by women and giving life lessons. Like Buffy. It's basically Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Now, now the writer has come forward and said that that wasn't true since then. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. We're, that, you know what? Um, given the state of, of Marvel right now, given the state of the MCU, I absolutely positively believe this was the case. At one point in time, yeah. yeah at least at one point in time. So and this is what's going to happen with the X-Men, too. I can almost guarantee you. Well, they're not going to be the X-Persons now since the X people is gone. The X-Peoples. So we're going to talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com back Shadow Binders Volume 3, please. A hardcover graphic novel, about 144 pages. It will be shipping next year. It will be shipping next year, next summer. Uh, we're finishing it up here, but uh, it will have the, the first half is going to be the remainder of the webcomic version of Shadow Binders, and then it's all new material from here on out. Yes. Uh, 10 years, 10 years. Since we've had new shadow binders, you can get books. It's been two. written for 10 years, too. It's been it sitting has there. It's been sitting in the Google Drive for a long time. It was written a long time ago. Uh, we did finally get previously on Clownfish TV in from the printers today. Hopefully, hopefully, we'll be shipping or starting to ship those books out next week. And we're still wrapping up uh, Crimson Wren shipping, too. I'm and trying. My fingers are going. Yeah. Very fast. We do not have we do not have a warehouse full of fulfillment people. No, we have one here. fulfillment bitch, and that's me. <laughs> I need to get you a shirt that says fulfillment, fulfillment bitch. bitch. Yeah, I'm the uh, fulfillment lovingly bitch. Lovingly packed by fulfillment bitch geeky sparkles. That's right. Sometimes Mama Sparkles helps too, but lately not. But you know she's been busy, so there there I am the fulfillment bitch. All right, uh, somebody's gonna call you that on Twitter. I guarantee it. Probably. All right. You so think I'm a fulfillment bitch, but that's another story. Anyway. Anyway. I think I think you you're 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 uh, very good at cracking the whip on getting things done. Um, that Variety article from yesterday, that big long massive article talking about everything wrong with uh, Disney's version. Mm -hmm. There's of lots of stuff in there. Yeah, well, one of the things that we did not talk about was Blade, and uh, you know we glossed over it. We said, "Hey, Blade is uh, apparently canceled at this point." Well, it's not, I guess it's 2025 that it pushed back to. Like, it was off the schedule, and now I think they said 2025. Bullshit. It's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> right. So apparently, here's what it was said in the in the article. They said, but the project has gone through at least five writers, two directors, and one shutdown six, six weeks before production. One person familiar with the script uh, says that the story at one point morphed into a narrative led by women and filled with life lessons. Blade what? was relegated to the fourth lead. A bizarre idea considering the studio had two-time Oscar winner Ali on board. Um, this almost cost him Ali, and so Kevin Feige stepped in, and basically he Feige went back to the drawing board and hired Michael Green from Logan to start new, and that the studio is supposedly trying to make the film for a budget of less than a hundred million. Uh, well, okay, so in the case of Blade, then they could probably get away with. They it. probably could because we're talking about a guy that fights vampires with a sword. Well, I right? don't even know why we need this movie to begin with. We don't, because the Wesley Snipe movie, and he wanted to be Blade. He wanted to be. I'm like, if you're going to do this multiverse shit, you've got the perfect excuse to bring Wesley Snipes yeah. back as Blade. You're you're bringing Tobey Maguire back. You're right. supposedly bringing Kelsey Grammer back as Beast. Whoops, spoiler. You're, you're bringing Wolverine back. You can bring Blade into the MCU, mm -hmm. and Wesley Snipes is still in good enough shape. He could still play Blade. Yeah, probably. You know? But no one wants, I mean, does anybody really want this movie? No. To be honest? I mean, we already had it done well. Why do we need it done again? And uh, it's uh, Mahershala, I think his name is uh, Ali. I, he's, he's a good actor. He was in, uh, he was in Alita and uh, he was, he was pretty good. And I, I, I think he would make a good blade, but they were talking at one point, it was going to be like a PG 13 blade. And I'm like, that's not going to work. I know. You no, know, it's not going to work. It's, it needs the you gore. Want, needs I know you want, Disney like wants to keep their, their family thing, but the Marvel at the same time, it's like, you can't, you, you know, that's why I'm worried about Daredevil. Yeah. You're never going to get Netflix Daredevil from Disney Plus. No. Sorry. Just, just go, Unfortunately. go Deadpool on it. Go R rated. Like have your, have your more adult Marvel uh, shows and movies and keep them kind of separate from the main timeline. Like, yeah, they take place. Cause that's what I thought they were doing with, with uh, Daredevil. I thought Daredevil took place in, 
the 616. It was just kind of all those street level heroes. They were kind of off to the side because we couldn't really like bring them on to Agents of Shield or something because it, you know, just styles didn't mesh up. Well, also one well. was on, you know, Netflix and one was on, like, yeah, you know, yeah. regular TV. But game. they mentioned the Battle of New York and they mentioned, you know, so. But, I, uh, yeah, I so know. it's not going to work. But. Okay, so now, so that's what's going on with this. And this is how things already been like moved back a few times. It was supposed to be out this year, okay? Yes. And then all this stuff happened, and now they're talking 2025. So after this, um, and Bounty and the Comics had it that the scriptwriter now says that wasn't true, but better not because it makes no oh, sense. Why would shit. you? But why would you make a Blade movie and then make it like Blades, like the secondary character? I mean, like, no, I'm not even gonna answer that question. We keep seeing it. Never mind. It's, why is there show willow's not the main character. exactly why is yeah. indiana jones not the main character That's, in indiana yeah, jones I, I, why is luke skywalker not asked, the main character of star wars they do that and then i'm like oh it's disney so that and then given when this would have been done and around the time before willow came out probably like that was going on and then indiana jones was in limbo what was going on there was i guarantee you this is probably true i can guarantee they said it. there was different writers this is one writer this isn't the other they said how many writers they have five yeah so on this person's thing, it might not have been the case, but that doesn't mean that it wasn't the case for somebody else. So this is uh, Michael Starbury. Um, he said, I worked on a draft, of, a draft, a draft of this before the strike. Never saw, never saw a version where Blade was the fourth lead or it was a narrative led by women and filled with life lessons. But I suppose a lot could have happened since I had anything to do with it. That is actually true. Now, he's not saying they weren't doing that. He's just saying. And the ones he was part of or he saw. Right, and that could have been after they shot it down hard. It could have been that they tried pitching it as like, yeah, we're going to have the the vampire sisters, and then they're, we're going to bring Blade in halfway through in the Blade movie. And, you know, it's like, it's just a really, God, really dumb He does, dumb like he could idea. definitely play the part, though. Oh, I think he would be good. It's just, I think he would be good, but the fact that they're talking a PG-13 Blade, and we're talking... Like you've got some big shoes to step into. To those first two Blade movies were Sometimes, really good. Sometimes I guess what happened with Ghostbusters too. Everybody's like, "Oh, it's because you don't want women." It's like at this point, I don't think that we. Why are we doing it again? Uh, it's not going to be as good as the originals. And you, like you said, you have big shoes to fill. So why do you need to redo it? You know, it's already been done. It's been done well. Do we need to do it again? And I think that's what the backlash was about. And then they, oh, it's because you hate women. It's like, no, because it's a stupid idea. And that's the same thing with this. So the thing that gets me about Blade 2 is that, God, I love it when they, they bring up Black Panther and they make it out like Black Panther was the first Black super. Oh, I know. First black superhero ever. First black Marvel character. I know. His own it really movie, loses a lot of people. And it's like, excuse me, Blade was a thing uh, in the freaking 90s, as was Spawn. Uh-huh. Now, did they make as much money? No, but Blade 1 and 2, we don't talk about the third one. Blade 1 and 2 are, are cult classic But my movies. next question is, if you did just for inflation, I bet they made a lot more money than people expected. Well, Wesley Snipes was at the top of his game. Because, like, I used to do a story so, yeah. about Indiana Jones and they're bringing uh, Dial Destiny to Disney+. Plus. And they're like, well, it was the it was the next to last biggest box office. But when you adjust for inflation, yeah. most of those most of those Indiana Jones movies would have done over a billion. Oh yeah. And it, if you look at this one, they keep saying, oh, you know, it, like it only did three hundred and some million dollars or whatever, and that's current market. These things, when you adjust for inflation, they're all doing like I think the lowest one was like nine hundred and some million dollars today. The yeah. rest were over a billion today in today's money. So yeah, if you go without inflation, yeah, it sounds like it did better. But there's no way it, it, it came nowhere near those other ones when you adjust it so blade justin for inflation might be you know pretty darn good compared to now yeah yeah uh and it, i remember being a big hit i went to the theater to go see blade one and two and i went to the theater to see spawn and those were huge. but i've never watched any of those they, uh, blade one two. see you don't I've like i've never gore. watched those uh it's pretty gory but you'll see that's why i didn't watch it but blade one and two god they were so good especially the first i've, I've only ever heard so good, good things about it but i've so never good. personally watched it uh, and i'm probably not movies. gonna start now well, they're damn good movies. But I can completely understand why you, people are like, you do not need to redo this movie. No. And I think that's what the whole thing is. People are like, it's already been done well. Why why reinvent the wheel? Yeah, exactly. Um, so this person here, if Blade isn't about Blade, then why would we watch it? Uh, Michael Starbury says, he was in almost every scene when I was involved. I don't know what happened, but I'll just say I seriously doubt he was ever the fourth lead in a draft. Now, I would say that too, except for how many times we've been seeing it. When this was going on... They, you know, they would have been, well, he said he was right before the strikes, but we went through how many writers. It's just supposed to be out this year. The strike happened this year. So 
the scripts were over the course of the last few years. So I completely believe that at one point in time this happened because like they were on a kick. We did, we got Willow and then Indiana Jones. All that would have been written then around the same time. Yeah. Do I think they would have tried that shit? 100% think they would have tried that shit. Now like, oh crap, we got to walk it back. Well, this guy, uh, Jeff Snyder, an insider, said that the lead was, uh, he was very frustrated with the script. Mm -hmm. And if you're told, hey, I'm Blade in a Blade movie. And I almost quit. Uh, you know, you would expect to, to have lots of screen time as Blade because I think, you know, Wesley Snipes was on screen like 95% of the time because it was called Blade. You know, <laughs> it was like, unless they just cut away to a scene with the bad guys or something, he was on the screen most of the time. And uh, I would be very frustrated too. I'd be like, this is not what I signed up for. So yeah, um, I I think it's a cluster. I hope to God they just pull the plug on this one. I don't think they're going to be able to outdo the original movies, especially with a PG-13 rating or whatever the yeah. hell they're thinking of. And right now, this is another case of the damage has been done because now people are going to look at it and be like, okay, um, so it's a Blade movie, but it's about these chicks. You know, we put a chick in it. We made them gay. Made it lame. We made them lame. And then we brought Blade in about halfway through to get lectured, probably about his toxic masculinity, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, yeah, also uh, don't, 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 uh, don't kill people. Well, thank God Blade isn't white. Cause then we really would have had a lecture. I was like, oh my God. Well, at least they didn't make uh, Blade a lesbian, but I'm like, yeah, oh, I'm sure they have one. I'm sure they have one on team Blade. Oh my God, team Blade. It's like, oh my God, guys, we're like team Blade. Oh my God, Z's. We're going to text each other about the, the, you know, killing some vampires. It's going to be freaking Buffy. Anyway, crisis averted, maybe. We're going to wrap it up? Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.